Hi, uh, welcome from Trend Signal for our uh, review of the data and events the week beginning the 3rd of March. Um, a week that is uh, dominated by news from Ukraine, um, which has been very much in the u news over the last couple of weeks, but uh, events over the weekend has really ramped up the whole situation by several notches. Um, just as a bit of background on the situation there, um, this uprising or unrest has effectively removed the previous president, who was very pro-Russian, a chap called uh, Viktor Yankovych. Um, the bulk of the Ukraine really wants to pursue closer ties with Europe and the US, and, uh, and this previous president had gone against the people, really deciding to side more with Russia, has always been in the pay of the Russians, uh, some would suggest. Uh, there's a lot of corruption in the Ukraine. Uh, this, uh, the presidential country residence has a gopping amount of money spent on it at a time when Ukraine is uh, really bankrupt and is in a, a significant uh, recession and in a very parlous state. So um, that's sort of a bit of a background to it. Um, parts of the Ukraine that were originally part of the USSR um, have remained really staunchly pro-Russian since the breakup up of the uh, USSR, and Crimea is one such part. Um, the move that's happened this morning um, in terms of uh, troop movements, it really is provoking um, a lot of ire from the West. Uh, the uh, Eurozone have uh, voiced significant concerns, the UK, uh, the US, um, breach of international law, etc., etc. But I think uh, Putin is in a bit of a, uh, you know, in a difficult place, really. He was accused of not doing much in Syria, and I think uh, he's reacting to something that's really on his doorstep. And if he didn't do, then I think he would uh, really be significantly criticised at home. Anyway, the moves um, are, uh, you know, very serious consequences for Eastern Europe. And I think that's reflected in that the moves this morning as the German DAX uh, collapsed at one stage over 2%, uh, and the euro stocks are down over uh, one and three quarter percent. And also, the, the Russian markets reacted very badly as well. That Moscow's main index, MySex, that fell nearly 9% initially. Uh, the Russian ruble, uh, that fell just over 3% on the opening in Moscow, which prompted pretty immediate reaction uh, and action from the Russian central bank as it's raised interest rates sharply from seven, uh, from 5.5% to 7% in an attempt to defend the currency. Um, so, um, obviously, you've seen knee-jerk reactions uh, in the equities. Uh, precious metals, they've also jumped uh, in terms of a, a safe haven reaction to the Ukraine situation. Gold rallying over $20 from the Friday night close and, and silver reacting, uh, obviously, to the same degree. Bonds, well, as you can um, probably expect in terms of Safe haven flows, we've seen them rallying quite a lot this morning. Uh, Bunds, gilts, uh, treasuries, all quite a bit firmer. Uh, German Bund and gilts, some 50 points higher from uh, Friday night's close. Strangely enough, uh, little movement on the US dollar relative to equities and bonds and commodities. Um, maybe that's to come, but uh, there seems little appetite for now to buy the US dollar as a safe haven. So that brings us on to uh, the data and events this week. I'll just click on to Forex Factory just to review this. Um, a very key week for data and events being the first week um, of the calendar month, which is uh, one that a lot of you who follow this uh, will know that that's when the US releases its uh, unemployment or employment data. Um, Coupled with that, we have got three interest rate announcements this week as well. So it is a very heavy data and events week this week. Um, but, however, it could be overshadowed by the Ukraine situation as that develops. Uh, but for now, we will just uh, review what's coming out this week. The red um, high impact um, data points uh, and events are the ones we'll focus on because there are a lot of them this week. And um, we've already... Um, um, had half of Monday out the way. Uh, the most, the next important event um, on Monday will be um, uh, President Draghi from the ECB uh, talking to the European Parliament, and he may well make some reference to interest rate policy, uh, the inflation or lack of inflation in the eurozone. So that's something that is going to attract a lot of attention at two o'clock on Monday. We got we got manufacturing and services sector data out. The ISM manufacturing data in the states out at three o'clock. 
Um, in light of uh, other uh, key events this week, it's probably not uh, that important, but it will has, it does have the ability to move the markets. Uh, then we have the first interest rate announcement on um, Monday night, Tuesday morning, from the Reserve Bank of Australia. Uh, not expecting any change from the 2.5%, so an unchanged uh, um, announcement there from uh, the Reserve Bank of Australia. Um, then, uh, really, Wednesday uh, kicks off with the services sector, um, all the PMIs coming out from the Eurozone uh, and in the UK um, and in uh, the US as well at three o'clock. But, but um, lunchtime tomorrow, or I should say on Wednesday, we have the first reading on uh, unemployment from the private payroll company um, ADP, which will release its take on the um, non-farm employment change. We're looking for um, a pullback from the, their data of 175,000 in, in January to 100, in February, I should say, to 159,000 now. So still not good numbers. Uh, it's just not uh, strong enough to uh, warrant any major change. And it's something that uh, the authorities in the US are going to have to deal with. Um, on Thursday, that's probably the one of the most important days, along with Friday this week, we have the interest rate announcements, firstly from the UK, not expecting any uh, announcement. Again, um, a lot of stuff has been said. Mark Carney from the government of the Bank of England has made his uh, announcement about uh, the detailed guidance he's now giving. Uh, so I don't think there's going to be too much of an update there. But really, the most important event, uh, re-interest rates, will be um, from the ECB. Where there are rumours, again, like there were last month, of a potential cut in the official rate. Um, obviously, when it's standing at 0.25%, it can't be cut much. Um, and also, uh, the press conference that follows the rate announcement at 1.30 will be of particular interest to market watchers, as um, uh, it is possible that um, uh, the ECB and the uh, Mario Draghi may announce some measure to bolster the economy, some sort of monetary stimulus of sorts. But uh, anyway, that'll uh, be forthcoming at 1.30 in the press conference. So that, that the announcement and the conference are very important uh, uh, um, events that you should put in your calendar. On Friday, um, it is the main event of the week, the employment data. Uh, very important, the employment data for the US. It's one of the mandates for the Federal Reserve. They monitor it very closely uh, and they... Uh, we'll be watching this particular um, release very closely as well. Uh, the problem that's occurring in the United States is that whilst the unemployment rate of 6.6% um, looks quite positive, it's largely a result of people falling out of the employment um, place, i.e. no longer looking for work, people retiring, there's various sort of dynamics taking place that uh, does not paint a particularly rosy picture. The number of new jobs being created uh, is fairly small and is not enough to sustain um, a, a strong recovery, as it were. Very poor data in February of 113,000. We're looking for an improvement to 151,000. Again, it is really not like anything enough uh, that is currently needed in the US. So, uh, that's the data and events this week, um, starting the 3rd of uh, March. Thanks very much for listening. Um, good luck. Bye for now. If you would like more information about trading the right way, TrendSignal is giving you the opportunity to see and hear about its services live at a free online seminar. Take a look at the TrendSignal website for the latest events and to book your free place.